In this lecture, we're going to understand how to store the session data in the MySQL database table. In case, if you want to store a session data in the database, then this is the right tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how we can store the session data using a simple PHP method. So let's get started and see how to create this simple method to store the session data. So I'm going to start with the class giver and specify the name for this class. I'm going to choose session name for this class. Then I'm going to extend my controller class. In this class, I have the connection property. I'm going to use that property in this session. In this class, I'm going to create a new public method and specify the name store session. In this method, I'm going to pass some argument. So we can specify different parameter when we call this method. I'm going to create a new argument session and specify null value to it. So this is the default value to this argument. Then I'm going to create a second argument table. If you specified a different table name to your database table, you can specify that name as a default value to this argument. I have user table in my database, so I'm going to specify here user. In this method, I'm going to create if the connection property is not equal to null. If I have a valid connection, then I'm going to execute this if statement. And here I'm going to check if the user passed this first required parameter that I'm going to enter in this if statement. This first argument is a required parameter to the user. So if the user passed this parameter, I'm going to just execute this if statement. Just out of that, I'm going to create a column variable and specify implode function to it. We already learned how to use this implode function in the previous lectures. So I'm going to separate the array using this comma and then I'm going to pass my array keys. So when we call this method, I'm going to pass array as a parameter to this method. From the array, I'm going to get array keys and store it in this column variable. Just out of that, I'm going to create values and then specify single code because I want to wrap the value in the single code. So I'm going to specify here single code, then concatenate the implode function, specify comma to separate all the array values. And then I'm going to call array values function and pass session here. And then I'm going to specify single code at the end. So I'm going to have value in the single code. Just out of that, I'm going to just create here query string, specify sprinter function. And here I'm going to create insert into and then call a string variable. Just out of that, in the parenthesis, I'm going to call string variable. So I can pass these columns in this parenthesis. Then I'm going to call values. In the parenthesis, I'm going to specify string variable. So I can pass these values in this parenthesis. So to this parameter of this sprint function, I'm going to pass these variables. So here I'm going to call table. So I'm going to pass this default value here. Then I'm going to call columns. So I'm going to pass these columns in this parenthesis and then I'm going to call values. So I'm going to pass these values here in this parenthesis. Now I'm going to just execute the database query. So I'm going to call the result variable to store the result Then call this connection. I'm going to call a query method to execute this query and then I'm going to pass this query string here. Just start that once I get the result in this result variable, I'm going to say if, if I have result in this variable, I'm going to just say echo session data inserted successfully. If you want, you can create else statement as well to this if statement. Just out of that, I'm going to create a session object and then I'm going to call this method. And as a parameter, as you know, we pass here a required parameter session. So you need to pass a session variable here. So I'm going to pass here my session variable. So as you know, session variable can be accessed using global variable session. And then you need to specify the key of your variable. So this is the name of my variable. If you want to access session variable, you need to pass a square bracket because session store your variable in arrays. So I'm going to have my variable using this variable name. So I'm going to have my variable using this array key. Now at the end, you just need to create a session variable at the top of this file. Now, as you know, I don't have the session variable yet. So to create a session variable, you need to start a session first at the very top of the file. You need to start the session and create this variable. So I'm going to start the session using session start function. Then I'm going to create a session variable user. And to this user variable, I'm going to pass array. In my table, I have name and year column. So I'm going to create a key name and year. And I'm going to pass values to it. So when we pass this session variable to this method, I'm going to have these values and keys in these variables. So this is the very easiest way to insert the data in the database. I hope you understand how to store the session data in the database. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.